Welcome back to your fragrant channel. This is Max Forte. If it's your first time here, please make yourself at home and enjoy the great fragrant reviews. Today we're going to be covering in this series called Gimme 5, which is a series where I share with you guys my top five favorite fragrances from that particular brand. And today, of course, we're going over my top five favorites from Givenchy. It's coming up right now. So what's going on everyone? Today is National Fragrance Day. If you're watching this right now, let's continue to spread the word to the world about fragrance news. Let's continue to share this great passion and of course, let's take smellfeasts today and share them on Instagram, Facebook or what have you. I know I'm going to be sharing with you guys my scent of the day today or my smellfeet on my Instagram. So stay tuned for that picture. But today, obviously, as you saw from the title, Givenchy is my give me five of choice because on the 10th of March, we heard the passing of one of the trendsetters and groundbreaking uh, fashion designers in the world. Obviously, we're talking about Hubert Givenchy. So my condolences to the family. If you're watching this and you're a fan, please accept my deepest sympathies and condolences for the passing of Hubert Givenchy. But this is a fragrance house that has a very special place in my heart. And in this video, you're going to see why. So a quick rundown and background on the house of Givenchy is a French founded house in 1952. They started to dive into fragrances in 1957, in which they released their first fragrance, which was called Le Dinterit, which was the signature scent of one very talented actress, of course, Audrey Hepburn. Many famous people were uh, Givenchy clothes as well as fragrances over the years. And to this day, they currently have over 221 fragrances in their database. So the first one I'd like to bring to your attention here in this top five or gimme five is Givenchy's Gentleman. This particular fragrance here, very similar to Moss Brash from uh, Tom Ford Private Collection. It's a very green animalic. There's a savate note in here, some patchouli, some honey. Uh, just a tremendous classic powerhouse men's fragrance. Tremendous timeless classic fragrance. However, not for the faint of heart. You, you might think this is a little bit uh, older smelling or aged, you know, and it, I don't fault you for that. This is again, you know, released in 1974. The current formulation that you'll find for this fragrance is absolutely nothing like this one. It's very faint and very far from what this fragrance once was. If you can get a bottle like this one, an older version with the silver tag, you will absolutely fall in love if you have a classic taste like I do from time to time. I want to smell a little bit more like an older man, sort of like my father. I go for fragrances like this, a true timeless classic Givenchy Gentleman from 1974. So the second fragrance here on this list is Givenchy in Sense. Now this is from 1993. I have a full review on this fragrance. The bottom line is this is a perfect floral masculine scent. You guys know if you follow me and my channel, you know that I don't like, I'm not really big on floral scents for guys. I think they lean more toward feminine, but this here is a perfect well-balanced, you know, with a little bit of a barbershop sort of feel. This one here is just an amazing floral masculine scent, period. Go check the full review if you haven't. Just a timeless classic again, another one released in 93, currently discontinued. I believe they re-released it in a different packaging in some countries, mostly Europe, but a little hard to find. But the ones you find today are probably not going to be smelling as good as this one did back in the day. Again, another one that you should check out. I just wanted to bring to light a fantastic from the house of Givenchy. One that I cannot dismiss and I hope to have in my collection forever. Now this next one here is probably Givenchy's first attempt at a gourmand fragrance for men. This fragrance is from 1998. It's called Pie and the perfumer is Alberta Marillas. Now when you know a fragrance is composed by Alberta Marillas, you know it's going to be quality. This is a fantastic oriental vanilla scent. Pie is a fantastic oriental scent at its finest with resinous notes and combinations of olibanum, labdanum, Obviously the vanilla here is almost boozy like, and then you have some tonka beans as well as some resinous almonds. A great, fantastic scent. If you like vanilla, this is definitely one you should try. Again, released in 1998 from perfumer Alberto Marillas, a fantastic scent. I know it's still available today, probably not as opulent and resinous as the older version, but it's still a great vanilla scent nevertheless. All right, the fourth one here is one of my all time favorite fragrances from Givenchy. It was my signature scent for work back in 2002 when it was released, all the way until 2006. The perfumer here is also Alberta Marillas, again released in 2002. This is Givenchy Pour Homme. This is a delicious combination of coriander, mandarin oranges, violet leaf, lavender, and vetiver. This is a 
sweet honey vetiver that just keeps you coming back for more. It's mouth-watering vetiver. A sweet, elegant, easy to wear vetiver that's just so pleasant and extremely crowd-pleasing. This is one that I always got compliments and this is why, this is actually an original bottle from 2002. It's my last one. I wear this very seldom, very gingerly, only on special occasions. And if I put this on, I immediately get transported to 2002, 2006 for those four years that I wore this as my signature scent. A fantastic fragrance, one that you could still find. I actually bought this uh, for less than 60 bucks. You could still find this, the original formulation, for a bargain. I don't know why it never got really popular. But if you like vetiver, mandarin oranges, like I said, with a little hint of violet leaf and, and just a little bit of spiciness, it is a perfect scent that you can wear all day long, dress up, dress down. This is an all year round scent, a perfect classic signature scent for men. And so this last one here is definitely a true attempt for a gourmand scent and a beautiful oriental gourmand at that. This is Givenchy's Very Irresistible. This here is Pierre Warnie's 2005 release. A combination of mocha, coffee, with sesame seeds, hazelnut, almost like a Ferrero Rocher kind of a kind of a hazelnut feel here in the dry down. Opens up very bright grapefruit and mint, then it quickly goes into that deep gourmand resinous, creamy kind of a heart and dry down. Fantastic mocha hazelnut kind of a scent. One that if you could find it, this is fetching a pretty penny right now on eBay. Unfortunately, discontinued. Hopefully, they'll bring it back but it is a fantastic gourmand. Unfortunately, I think also this was released ahead of its time in 2005 where really men weren't really looking to smell, you know, this kind of gourmandish in 2005. But I think if, you know, this was re-released right now, it would do fantastic because it's a phenomenal gourmand fragrances for guys. This is sensual, it's sexy, it's extremely appealing. Whenever I wear this, I always get compliments. A beautiful scent for night out, for dates, romantic situations, and close encounters. Very resistible from Givenchy at the fifth spot here. I honestly think that Givenchy is a criminally underrated designer house that you should definitely check out. Let me know in the comment section below what are your top favorites from this house and what do you think? What are your thoughts overall on the house of Givenchy. Let's start a little frag chat on the uh, comment section below. And again, today is National Fragrant Day, so you know, happy National Fragrant Day for all of you. Uh, my actual scent of the day today will be Givenchy Pour Om, so I'll have that posted. I'll do my smell fee, and I hope to see yours as well on Instagram and Facebook. And of course, in the meantime, please, if you haven't yet, show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing for a lot more great content like this, more reviews, fragrant news. Don't forget to enable notifications so you always get first dibs on everything and anything fragrance that happens on this channel. Also, be sure to join us, our fragrance group on Facebook, The Important of Scents. I'll have all that information below where we share all our love for fragrance. There's over 10,000 fragrance maniacs like you and I sharing fragrance news, swaps, sales, you name it, anything and everything fragrance goes on on the Emporium of Scent. So I'll have that below and I hope to see you there. So that's all I have for you today. Stay fragrant, of course. Keep on spraying and as always, I got you covered. See you next time.